Welcome, everyone, to Pasadena, California, and the Rose Bowl in the shadow of the San Gabriel Mountains, Arroyo Seco, also home to the UCLA Bruins, and it just doesn't get much better than this. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime, as we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the USC Trojans taking on another team from the Big Ten, the UCLA Bruins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Bruins will put total leather and we'll get started. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Trojans' offense will get the first swing of the game. The battle for Los Angeles. Two spectacular uniforms, awesome backdrop, and the battle for the victory bell, guys. I was going to say, Reese, aesthetically, this is one of my favorite games of the year. I love when both schools wear their home games, and they're traditional. They haven't changed very much over the years. This game's just fun to watch in every sense of the word. Fun for the fans, too, because they don't have to go anywhere. And you know what else is always cool? You tune in this game late in the season. What do you get? Great weather, too. I mean, it's really, it really makes me jealous every year watching this football. To the air, it's Moss. Looking down the middle. Got him downfield. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they got it at the 42. Uh, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and, man, what they can do on second down here. Running back searching for a hole. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. This crowd full throat splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Gets it out fast. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly to the tight end. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short gain. The seventh play of this opening drive. They'll need to move the chains on third and short. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. Across the 25, he's got room. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Into the end zone. Touchdown, USC. And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game. But in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So a drive there of 85 yards. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So the UCLA Bruins offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. 
Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. On the ground, it's Harden. And the Bruins get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Ryan just big tight end. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. He lobs one high down the left side. He got it! They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Ooh, the defense so lucky that was not a touchdown. The offense saw an opportunity to take a chance and take a shot, and they executed that play beautifully. The explosive play set the table. Now they got to serve the feast. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, UCLA! The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down the middle. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Finds his man, it's Branch. And he's down right there, picked up a few, but still some work to do to get a first down. He'll keep it himself. Tough, hard-nosed running. He got three, but he needed four. It's fourth down and one. And the Trojans will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. UCLA will go back to work on offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Dropping back, it's Garbers. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. A strike downfield. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball in the money, and he makes the play. Historically, the Trojans have been the powerhouse in this rivalry, but last season it was UCLA in a blowout. And that is not something USC is accustomed to. They want to own this rivalry. They think they own UCLA. They will have some extra fire behind them today. Yeah, and that UCLA blowout last year really helped the Bruins in recruiting, too. Remember, these two schools, they recruit the same kids here in Los Angeles, in the state of California, and nationally as well. It would be massive if UCLA could beat USC again and make it back-to-back. -back. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. He got it. Oh, 
Bills took it all the way there, but it's a huge gain, and they're set up with a first and goal. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. The Bruins trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Powers forward. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Bruins! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Shoots it to the left. It's caught. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Trojans racing to the line in the hurry up. Well, he hauls that pass in. Big play for the offense. The Trojans have had such a history at this receiver position, right? You go back to Mike Williams, Keyshawn Johnson, Juju, and then Jordan Addison. There's always a playmaker on the perimeter of the field for the quarterback to take advantage of, and they've got to keep feeding this guy the football. He is dangerous. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what? Going up top. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Trojans line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. They're going to run it to the right. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. This crosstown rivalry dates back nearly 100 years, guys. The first meeting between the Trojans and the Bruins back in 1929. Yeah, and every year since, you know, one thing you know, Jesse, is the uniforms are crisp. They are clean. They are so sweet. You know this game means a lot late in the season every year. This is definitely my favorite uniform game of the year every year in college football, right? Both USC and UCLA with the home unis here in this great environment. But the game also means so much as well, and that's why there's this heightened sense of electricity and energy every time these two teams play. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Leaves it with the running back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Getting going for it all. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. There to make the stop, but they use the back in the passing game and pick up the first down. The Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Using the quick game. Makes the stop at the 23-yard line, but it's a pickup of 15. A first down, and this offense is smelling the end zone. He'll do it himself. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. 
I don't know that there's anything more demoralizing to an offense than the fumble. I, I, I know the defense makes plays, but sometimes it just seems so unnecessary or sloppy. And I think the offensive coordinator now has some decisions to have to make. Oftentimes, Reese, we see running backs fumble, they get benched. Well, this offense, they're not going to bench this guy because of his talent. But how many more times do you trust him to carry the football on design quarterback runs after that fumble? Got it. Behind the line, it's Harden. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. And the Bruins headed quickly to the line. To the air, it's Garbers. Got his man in the middle. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. Just discarding tacklers, punching and grinding his way to the 23. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Never a doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. They held him to a field goal, so that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on. Be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. Caught behind the line. It's Branch. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Hand off from the gun. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. Quarterback on the keeper. Got to be smart. Patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. The Bruins want to pick up the tempo. Pre-snap motion, quarterback trying to get a read. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down, boom, positive yards, nice positive play for this offense. 
looking to throw it again. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit. Forced him to hold on to the football. And that allowed the pass rush to get home. And the Bruins will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Branch. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Line gets set, first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. That's caught. It's Marks. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. That's the way you get things going. A huge play and now attacking from just inside the red zone. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Now it's second and goal. To the air, it's Moss. I think the days of running backs just running downhill are out the window. You better be able to do this. You see the playmaker slip him out of the backfield, throw him the football, he'll handle the rest, get in the end zone for the touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. He's going to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Sturdivant. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. The Bruins moving quickly to the line. More precision throws from this Bruin quarterback, much like a Rick Neuheisel used to play. Just pinpoint accurate. Put the ball right where you want to. You think about Troy Aikman, you think about some of those other great names in UCLA history. The Victory Bell is not some manufactured, concocted trophy, guys. This thing actually used to be on a train. That is so cool. And the origins of the story of all these rivalries and the trophies, Jesse, it's so cool. It's fun to find out about. And these guys out here are learning on the job about it. Yeah, it's just really such a point of pride, the Victory Bell. Not just here in the city of Los Angeles, but to these kids, there's just a different energy in this game. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with the first down at the 31. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. And the Bruins trying to cash it in on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. 
Can the D deny them on second and goal? He'll pull it on the read. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. Third and goal coming up here. Looking downfield, it's Garbers. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown UCLA! Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. And what a way to finish it with a 9-yard touchdown run. He'll start the return inside his 5. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first. Oh, he wants it all. It's complete. A huge pickup. Can anyone catch him? And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown, Southern Cal. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Takes the handoff. It's Harden. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. The Bruins will hustle to the line. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Working that left side. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the lore of a rivalry. And playing big in... Trying to burn this defensive back. Hits him in stride inside the 10. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Bruins! And a really nice job by the quarterback. He drops back. He knows where he's going with the football. You can tell. He sees this guy coming from left to right, running that post down the middle of the field, throws it. Perfect timing to his receiver. He catches the football, takes it into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. 
you've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. They'll give it on the counter. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fires to the big fella. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Pulls and fires complete. And they put it on the deck, but it gets out of bounds to avoid the turnover. Man, that's one of those where you just go, daggum, and if we had a little bit more space, nice job creating the fumble, but just running out of real estate, not able to land on it. Man, you just get a little bit frustrated because you wanted that turnover, you caused the fumble, you just couldn't secure it. The option look. He'll pitch it. And that one will go and reverse the defense all over that pitch on the option. And the Bruins are in the hurry up to throw. It's Garbers. He's got the back in the middle. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. If you like the stats, and I know you do, he's over 400 yards passing down. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's just been throwing bullets all over the field. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. The short hands, it's hard. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Bruins are moving quickly down the field. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the blue. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. What a nice answer by this defense. You give up the big play, you respond right back. You get the sack, create some momentum for your side. Nice job by this defense staying with it. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. They'll run play action. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. And finally, you're seeing some life from the defense. They've been struggling all game long up to this point, but back-to-back -back sacks on two consecutive plays, they're at least still trying to fight back in this game. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. To the air, it's Garbers. He's looking deep, and he's got it at the 25. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. Well, they wanted this guy catching the ball on the right side of the field. They could have just lined him up over there, but they didn't that time. He started off on the left side. He crossed the defense and made the catch on the right side of the field. And the Bruins will snap it on first and 10. And off from the shotgun. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. The Bruins look to do some damage in the red zone. On second down, he's looking downfield. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. 
And the QB has had a nice drive. And this offense has been throwing the football all over the yard. You want to stop that? Get pressure on him. Nice job getting to the quarterback, affecting him. And even better, getting him on the ground. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And he's already made one. The holder will put it down at the 26 for a 36-yard try. Between the uprights, it's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Unloads to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking for a man. It's Moss. Just a short pass to the tight end. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Fires to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. The Trojans will call on their punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. First play of this drive will start from the 31-yard line. Caught in the backfield. It's Harden. He'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And the Bruins want to move quickly. On second down, just keeps fire. And they got him for the sack. Another sack by this defense. But how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting them in a good position to win this football game. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Steps away to find some room. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. The Bruins will try to pin them back with the punt. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And the Trojans have a first down. Man, I really love the way this guy looks when he's toting the rock. You think about all the high school kids out there who dream about one day donning a USC jersey and being the starting running back for the Trojans. There's so much competition, not just in the state of California, but nationally, to come to this school and be the guy, to be RB1. He's on the field for a reason. This guy is unique. He's got speed and vision. What a weapon. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. That's caught. It's Branch. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. He got it.
So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Gives it to the back on the draw. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. And the Bruins want to crank the tempo. Wants to throw. It's Garbers. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Some programs just seem to be built for a great passing game. The patron saint of Bruin passers is Troy Aikman. And, and honestly, Reese, it makes me think of the, the UCLA blue. The sweet uniforms with the gold. Just quarterbacks looking sweet. McNown, DTR, look in the park, be in the park. Wants to throw on second down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. From the gun. Wants to pass. Throwing right. He makes a catch. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Awesome body control and great job, too, knowing where he is on the field to make sure he got his feet down in bounds. At this point, this guy's been open all over the field, and if I'm the QB, man, I keep throwing him the ball. The Bruins have this offense rolling. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Unloads to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. Snap in the shotgun. Makes the catch, and he will score! Touchdown, UCLA! He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. He locked up and held on to bring him down. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. At the 35, he's open. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Yeah, and how about the third down run play? And this is an offense that they can do a lot of different things, so they make you guard the whole field, but you might want to start with that running back. And he makes the big play, gets the third down conversion, gets him a new set of downs. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Lane. Tackled, but he has a first down. The Trojans come to the line with a new set of downs. Power football with the run. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30, it would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Quickly complete. 
A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. New set of downs after that completion. The give to the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll go to the ground. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. Splits the uprights. Good. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. UCLA will go back to work on offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. That's a way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man quickly. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Pulls it in. It's Sturdivant. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Offense gets set for second down. He wants to throw it again. Fires to the wideout. Got his man! That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The defense just can't cover this guy. We've seen it all game long, whether it's man coverage, zone coverage, double coverage. They cannot find an answer for him. He's already got over 150 yards. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. He wants to throw. He's got it on the run. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Firing to the right, complete. The offense will quickly use a timeout. I think they tried to slip it to that tight end really quickly and get him the football and create some space and maybe try to make a play, but the defense said no. There is nowhere to go. Defense actually gets him for a loss. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins! Try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So a drive there of 85 yards. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. 
That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the Bruins will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Going to the run to start this second half. A little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the ground, it's Harden. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. And the pass, it's picked off! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I gotta manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I gotta use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Give to the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the Trojans in the hurry up. They'll run it from the gun. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. It is true as he puts three on the board. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, they're still happy to get the field. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it out. It's Jones. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. He's right on target. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Gets it out quickly. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They'll throw it on first down. Skips away from pressure. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And it's, sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Out of the gun, the running back has it. 
And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Third and short now, they snap it from their own 46. To the ground to try to move the chain. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Bruins will punt this one away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. And he's brought down after a nice game. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. And now on first down after converting with the run. He'll keep it himself. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And now you just completely flipped how I play defense. I'm not really worried about the quarterback running the football. I'm like, okay, he's, he's number three or four on my list of who I think can beat me. But now he does that. Now it puts it in the back of my mind. I got to think about it. I got to stay home. I got to stay disciplined. Nice little, nice little curveball by the offense. Back to throw. It's Moss. Quick strike complete. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Trojans have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Branch. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, he'll let it fly. Unleashes to the end zone can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Looking for the score! Almost intercepted in the end zone, and what a red zone stop that would have been. It'll be fourth down. This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. This could turn out to be a huge penalty. Thought they were going to have to settle for three, and now the offense back on the field with a chance for more. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This offense in dire need of a touchdown is third and goal, but this is probably four down territory. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Trojans! This dude is absolutely taking a flamethrower to this secondary, torching everybody in sight. So find something different, right? Like double team him, do whatever it takes to not let that guy beat you. He's just consistently being the one that's destroying you. You gotta find a way to make somebody else work, make somebody else beat you. Lining up to add another. Splits the uprights. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. UCLA will go back to work on offense. 
pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20, a pickup of five. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Garbers. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. The Bruins decide to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. From the gun, the ground game. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Quick release on the RPO. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. And the Trojans get enough to move the chains. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Snares it outside. It's Branch. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. To the 15. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's the way, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Trying to find his man on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll do it himself. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. They're trying to get to it. And they fail to hook up on third down. This field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. It is perfect. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it out. It's Jones. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He wants to take the top off. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Out of the gun to give to the back. Plows through the defense. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. And the Bruins racing to the line in the hurry up. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Got a man. It's Sturdivant. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. 
Dropping back, it's Garbers. Coming after it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Try and play action. Quarterback adapting. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Quarterback moving. And he can find a receiver, and down he goes. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass pro. The Bruins will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Used to play fake. Now to throw. He's going for a big play downfield. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. From the gun, give on the inside. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. Pocket starts to collapse. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. The Trojans send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. Running back goes in motion. And off to Jones. Not much movement there as the gain of one gets him out to the five. And the Bruins headed quickly to the line. He has been in see ball, get ball mode all day, and he is making his mark in this rivalry game, guys. I'll tell you, he was sick and tired of reading about and hearing about the offenses coming into this one. This guy had his own designs and his own plans. He has been balling, David, all over the field. And it's so fun. A rivalry game, you have so much emotion, so much passion. Well, guess what? You can let that out on defense. And defense, you can fly around, make plays, and he's been doing it all game long. And here comes the offense on second down. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get them the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Finds his way for three out to the 33. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Back to pass, it's Garbers. Gets it out fast. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Picked up some yardage on that completion, but still a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab, it's Flores. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. The Bruins come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He leaves it with his back. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and 
They're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. He's going to take off on the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Offense in the hurry up. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw on second down. Makes the grab. And he's not down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Comes out throwing on first down. Using the quick game. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up. And they'll move the chains with the first down. And the Bruins looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Quarterback on the keeper. Headed to the end zone. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. They use those back-to-back -back explosives to set him up first and goal. Out of the gun, looking to throw. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. I love the awareness by the defense here. Everyone thinking first down, down close to the goal line, the offense is going to run the football, right? But this defense was ready for the chance that the offense might throw it. So defenders playing the pass and getting up field, getting to the QB. Awesome job. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Keeps looking downfield. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They believe in their running game on third and goal here. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. He'll pull it on the read. Touchdown, UCLA! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. And the extra point splits the uprights, and the lead balloons to 15. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Right back to the well. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Now he's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Branch. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Ball at the 38. The defense will try to get a stop on third and short. He'll do it himself. It's a fumble. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. 
In this offense, they like their quarterback running these QB-designed runs like you saw right there. But the defense, they're going to light up every time they see him tote the rock. They know they've got an opportunity to lay a hit on him and create a takeaway like they did right there. UCLA will go back to work on offense. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. The Bruins want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, the running back has it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to pass, it's Garbers. Quickly complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Third down coming up after the completion. They'll try to run for it. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And the Bruins are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with a big lead, he's still taking shots. From the red zone, looking for a space. He's got it and still on his feet. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Pulled down for the tackle. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. Gets rid of it. Grab near the marker. It's Harden. Touchdown, Bruins! And the punishment has been extended. The Bruins stretch out that lead, and they look like a team ready to ring the victory bell. I think momentum's a real thing when UCLA and USC play each other, but that Bruins touchdown here in the second half is giving them a lot of life, David. Yeah, and it's getting them excited. The fans excited. They know what this rivalry means. They know what a win will mean, and they know they can ring that victory bell. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute and you've got to lock in. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Back to pass, it's Moss. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Pressure coming. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. Off the play fake on first down to throw. On target to the left. 
He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. The play-action fake. Fires to the tight end. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. The Bruins will try to punch it in on first and goal. Got it! Touchdown, UCLA! And the stomping has commenced. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Looking for a man. It's Moss. Dumps it to the back. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. They'll run for it on fourth down. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Going up top on first down. Fires to the right. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. Hey, and quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Grabbed in the middle. It's Branch. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. To the air on first down. Quickly complete. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Trojans come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got his man quickly. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Looking for space. It's Marks. Tackle is made after the first down. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Red pass, it's complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. They'll try the left side. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. New set of downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll run it on first and goal. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Second and goal for this offense. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. From the gun, running back gets to give. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, USC! 
precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully yeah um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone what an unbelievable job blocking up front ready to try the point after hit that one with some aggression for the point after that is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. And here's the return. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And the ball's on the ground. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Defensive coordinators always preach swatting and batting at the football and trying to punch it out, trying to dislodge the ball from the ball carrier, and boy, they did it right there. The offense starts with a short field. Quarterback on the keeper. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Trojans! This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead way ahead I mean it's been been really really easy I better get some more hits on him I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable because right now it's just like oh you're running that yeah that's easy I mean he's, he's already read your mail you, you better change the address do something different two-point conversion attempt is on the way He makes it in for the deuce, and now it's a 14-point game. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. First down for this offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Makes the grab on the left. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. And the Bruins moving quickly to the line. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets it out quickly. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They'll try to snap it quickly. Here's the handoff. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he dropped it. Incomplete pass in what would have been a huge game. No defender anywhere around, and he just flat dropped it. He'll bring it back. It's Branch. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Wants to throw on first down. Tight end finds a soft spot. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. He's looking to throw it. Makes the grab. It's lame. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Looking to move it through the air. 
feeling some heat. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Trying to get to it. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. And how about that back-to-back -back sack? You want two sacks in a game. That's a great game. He is flying around, getting to that quarterback, and getting him on the ground. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Trojans will hustle to the line. On second down, he'll fire. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. The give to the tailback. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal. Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, gets you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. UCLA will go back to work on offense. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Off, keep working on that clock. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. 
Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Bruins will send out the punt unit. He's got great speed. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Back to throw, it's Moss. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Couldn't connect on that last play, now second and 10 from the 42. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Another incompletion on third down. This late in the game, there's really no question about it. To have any chance to tie this thing up, they have to convert here on fourth down. Here's a throw downfield late. And they will score! Touchdown, Trojans! And great job executing. The offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that. But you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. Getting set for the point after. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. They'll start this drive with a pass. Got it in the middle, it's Flores. Knocked down at the 26 after ripping off 10 there. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. He'll come out throwing on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? To the air. It's Garbers. He makes the connection. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Moving out of the pocket. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. And, man, it can be dangerous when quarterbacks get outside the pocket. They can stress your defense so bad. You better chase them. you got to keep running as hard as you can and try to get to him before he can throw that football and especially square those shoulders up. Nice job by the defense continuing to pursue even though he got outside the pocket. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. On the move, it's Branch. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Now, they need to pick up just a few more yards here to get within the kicker's range, David. No doubt, Reese. we got to take care of the football, but we're trying to get as many yards as we can. Jesse, let's make this thing as easy as possible on our kicker. You're right. And listen, you've got some time, too, so you don't got to panic here. Just pick the right play and go execute. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Unleashes one deep. Incomplete, the final play of regulation, and now we head to overtime. 
Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first. Just to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Grab behind the line. It's Marks. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll try the run. Bulls his way forward. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. First and goal as they try to jump on top here in overtime. They'll try to run it in. They jump on top here in OT. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was pay dirt. Now to push the lead to seven in overtime. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. It's complete on the right side. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Looking for a crease. It's Harden. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. First and goal down a touchdown. They have to get it in the end zone. From the gun. He wants it all. Touchdown, Bruins! They got it in, and now an extra point away from the tie. Obviously very hard to complete passes this area of the field. Nice execution. Now you're down by one, and now you got to make the decision. Are we going to go for it and try to end the game right here and put this game in our offense's hands? What do you think? And that's why I love having the ball second, because I get the opportunity to do this. I knew they scored a touchdown. We scored a touchdown. Now, do I want to go for the win, or do I want to continue this game on? It's so nice to have the ball second. They need this extra point to send it to double overtime. And the extra point is good. Here in the second overtime, they'll snap it on first down. Off play action on first down. Looking down the middle. He's got an open man. Touchdown, UCLA! Got it in to take the lead here in the second OT. That's number two on the day, having a day. I mean, you know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this. You keep finding them. They got the touchdown. Now in the second overtime, you have to go for two. And he'll keep it on the naked bootleg. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. They do not get the two. And now the lead sits at six in double OT. 
They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. He'll start this drive firing. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Dropping back, it's Moss. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. Four down territory in overtime, and they need to pick up a third and long here. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Pulls it in. It's Lane. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. He's going to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Marks. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Looking to pass on second down. Touchdown, Trojans! And the answer here in overtime. I think the quarterback showed his head coach a lot on that last touchdown pass. The poise and the confidence. And because of that, David, on this upcoming two-point play, you might just put it back in his hands and let him go win it for you. Yeah, man, I need it again, right? Like, these rules, I got to go for two. This is a clutch moment, obviously. Got to come up big. Do you trust him again? You worked on these two-point plays all year long, all week long. That's what you do. You know the rules. Now you got to go execute and they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Caught in the backfield, it's Marks. There! 